many, many years later, in the 1980s, I believe, uh, my family, my dad and brothers and mother and I, lived actually lived in Kissimmee. And my grandmother came up for a visit, and we went to the Osceola County Courthouse and looked at the old records and found their actual marriage license and certificate from when they got married. And it was on that day, for the very first time, that my grandmother and any of her brothers and sisters realized that their mother's name was Olivia and not just Ollie. They'd always heard her called Ollie, but on her marriage certificate it was listed as Olivia. And like, you know, like I said, that's the first they'd ever heard of that. Um, Edward and Olivia, my grandmother's parents, had eight children, all born in Polk County. Cora was born in 1893. Mamie Blanche was born in 1895. Jensie was born in 1897. Robert was born in 1899. Ruby was born in 1902. Ina was born in 1905. Edward Jr., who they called Buck, was born in 1907. And Willie was born in 1911. So that's a thumbnail sketch of, of both sides of the family, the Carters and the Duboses. One more thing I want to bring up before we end today is, as I was reading through all of this and getting ready to speak today, there's something sort of stuck out in my mind. And um, I know this will mean a lot to Carlene because through all of this family history, there's a little piece of ground here in Frostbrook that meant a lot to both families, evidently. And that is 14 Oak Avenue, where uh, Carlene grew up and her mother's house still is there. Uh, and all of us in the family have, through our lives, have been there many, many, many times and um, think of it fondly. But from what I could see, Edward and Ollie Carter bought that property, including the grove that's just to the north of it, that's now the medical center there, in 1907. Um, and they lived there with their family of nine until 1913 when they moved out to Walking Water, as I talked about earlier. In 1913, as they left, who do you think came to live there? It was the Duboses. Um, William and Nicey Dubose came with their eight children from Escambia County and rented that place uh, for the next couple of years. Uh, later, as the years progress, um, the first permanent church building for the Frostproof Church of Christ, which my family has been uh, involved with and nurtured for the decades, um, was actually built on that little piece of property. And then my Aunt Margaret and Uncle Carl uh, had their home there for many years to follow. So that, that was interesting. I've always um, been very proud to have um, had these roots to Frostproof. I grew up, as I said, in Kissimmee, at least the last six years of my college, I mean, of my uh, education in high school and middle school. And in Kissimmee at that time, everybody came from somewhere else. Nobody had any roots. And, you know, it was always nice to know that I could point to this place and say, that's where I came from, that's where all my family's from, uh, and it gives you a sense of identity. Uh, when I finally graduated from college and law school and joined the law firm, of course, one of the things I wanted to do was to bring the practice down here a little bit. And so we do have... Uh, the office here, we've had it here now for almost 20 years, um, initially on Scenic Highway and, of course, now in Mr. Higginbottom's old building. And I enjoy coming down here and meeting the folks and talking to them and um, still being a, a part of it. So I appreciate your attention, and uh, that's just a, a thumbnail sketch of the family. Johnny, we can't thank you enough. This has been oh. wonderful. Thank you. Now you know why. <laughs>